Hello, a couple of months ago I showed you how you can now have a calendar on your Chromebook using a Chrome OS flag. It, there was a few things that needed some improvements and luckily these improvements have now happened and you should see these in the next few weeks when you get a Chrome OS update. In the meantime, I'll show you how these improvements look and that's in the video coming up. So when I showed you how to install the calendar a couple of months ago, it was great obviously, it's something we've wanted for such a long time on Chromebooks, but there were still obviously things that we would have liked to have seen. For example, there was no Google Calendar events showing. I did show you a video about a month later which showed that you can now have to show them do, events do show up, but there's now been further improvements which is really good. So I'll show you that now. So let me just zoom out the screen i'm just having a look because i just did this video believe it or not and none of it recorded what i was doing on my display and i only found out when i've come to editing which is a tad frustrating okay so from here the first thing you'll notice is that you can see they've separated the date and time which is great so whereas before it was all linked together now if you click on the date you get the calendar i'll zoom out a little bit where you click on the date you get the calendar and then that's where your normal settings are and that's really good because before we had this separation it was a bit fiddly i found it sometimes i was looking for my calendar and i'd get my settings or the other way around i was looking for my settings and i get my calendar now that you see that oh there's date that's the calendar and it's segmented off it makes it much easier so that's great and you should hopefully see this either in chrome os 101 or chrome os 102 i'm on 102 developer channel at the moment so i'm unsure when it will take place because i don't always have my laptop in developer mode because you can't really do so well you can you can do anything in developer mode it's whether you'd want to and i don't want to take the risk so that that's why i don't know exactly which one it happened on and there's some other great things as well so where in the past if you clicked on here if you clicked on a date it would show nothing now you've got a link to opening google calendar which is really good so you can click on that and it will open up your google calendar like that and also if you click on here oh sorry i've still done it wrong even with the date and time i'll get used to it over time click on here and you've got the date there if you've got an event you'll see there's a dot so there's a dot there i put in two events and you see if you highlight over it tells you there's two events 26th of april two events so that's a good improvement it didn't do that before also if you click on it it shows you the events which it did do that in the previous video i showed you the problem was it wasn't in chronological order it depended on when you actually entered the events on your calendar and there was no logic to that for example if you entered an event to start at 8 p.m in the evening and that was the first event you entered and then you entered an event to start at 3 p.m in the afternoon even though that 3 p.m in the afternoon comes first because you didn't enter it first it wasn't showing in that order so that obviously is something they fixed which is great so now it's in order so today i've got my food shopping and i've got hopefully a dpd delivery but i'm not too sure whether that might be tomorrow and that's for a new chromebook which is great i'm getting a new pixelbook go because i've decided i need this asus cx5 in developer channel all the time because moving it in and out of different channels makes it really hard and it makes me sometimes see when improvements have happened that i miss them and i just want to try and get to a stage where i can always show you the improvements coming up without having to keep on going in and out of developer channel so I, that i can't wait for that to turn up so here you'll see that if you click on there you've got opening google calendar if you click on one of the dates where there isn't an event um, open google where there is events sorry if you click on there you don't have the link but if you click on one of these it also takes you to the google calendar which is really good and then that shows you the events there and obviously you should still be able to color code them so if we make that one red for example like that and then so we've got a red and a blue if you close that down there and then click on the date click on there you'll see that it color codes it there as well so that's really good i like the fact that they put this now in order 
I like the fact when you click on one where there isn't a link, you can go to Google Calendar by clicking on the link without opening up Google Calendar separately, which is great. And I love the fact they've separated this down here. Now, if I'm being 100% picky, and you've got to be picky to an extent, but this ain't a massive issue at all. It doesn't bother me, but it is a bit strange because I do find certain things a bit strange. So if you click on here, for example, on your settings, you'll see that that's slightly highlighted because you're on settings. But if you click on the date, that's highlighted rather than that. And I do seem to think that it does seem to highlight very separately and then go to there. Now I know that's a real small thing and it doesn't change anything on how you use it, but maybe they'll look at that in the future. But bear in mind, this is still a Chrome OS flag, so it's not the end product just yet. But I do really like how that looks. Now, if you haven't got the calendar set up, I did say I'd show you how you do that. You just go to here, just go to Chrome, colon, backward slash, backward slash, and then flags. So Chrome, colon, backward slash, backward slash, flags, hit return, and then you need to search for it. So I've got it open here, as you can see, one of these, this one here, it's the productivity experiment, monthly calendar view. I've already enabled it. If you've not got it listed, you simply need to find it. The easiest way to find it is just to use the short code here, so calendar view. So just type in there, hash, calendar, and you can see it comes up straight away. And then if you haven't got it enabled, you just click on there. It should be on default most likely on yours at the moment. Just simply click on enabled. When you click on enabled, it will ask you to restart your Chromebook. And then once you've restarted it, you will then have access to the calendar. But at the moment, do bear in mind your calendar won't, it won't look like this but this is coming up in the next couple of updates. So I'm really, really glad that they fixed that. I really love the fact that this is now in order because it makes more sense. And it really does mean that you'll be able to manage your day so much more from your Chromebook because if you've got it all there, what's happening on the date. And I love the fact that just, if for example, you was looking at your week ahead, you could, and you add entries on each day, instead of having to click on each day like that, you could just hover over the days where, uh, right, I've got two events on that day. If you was looking for a day where it wasn't busy, you, you know, it, it, so it, it's really good. I, I love it. It's a great update. I hope you like it as well. If you did, please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And thanks for watching.